What is shaking, Internet? This is Salt's bringing you the How to Tank for Dummies Shaw of Pride Guide. <laughs> nice little rhyme there. The Shaw of Pride is the fourth boss in the Siege of Orgrimmar Raid instance, and the last boss for the first quarter LFR instance named the Veil of Eternal Sorrows. For those of you in queue or fighting trash, a quick synopsis. Move a few yards for self-reflection, and move to the orange spots to unleash imprisoned raiders. Or you can slash dance if you're off if you're the off tank. Okay, let's start on the real guide for dummies. The trash is littering the boss's room, but it's not really that hard. If you want a challenge, try to pull about a quarter of the room at once. Be careful though, as it seems these ads do splash damage when they die, as you can see in the background here. Those poor, poor DPS and healers. Now once you clear the entire room, the boss will spawn. Let me get this out of the way now. This is basically a one tank fight. If you're not actively tanking the boss, you can either switch to DPS, pretend to be useful in tanking the adds, or slash dance. There really is no need for a second tank here. The fight mainly revolves around the mechanic called Pride. Everyone starts at zero pride, and many moves throughout the fight will increase players' pride. These interact very specifically with the first move we'll talk about called Swelling Pride. Every minute, the boss will cast Swelling Pride, which causes everyone in the raid to gain 5 pride, and does some damage to everyone as well. More importantly, it does additional things based on how much pride each member already has. If a raider has less than 25 pride when the boss casts Swelling Pride, it does nothing besides the add 5 pride and damage. If a player has 25 to 49 pride, they will drop a void zone at their feet. This void zone will explode after a few seconds, doing a lot of damage and adding pride to anyone hit. Stay away from these void zones if you're anywhere close to the DPS. Now, raiders between 50 and 74 pride get projection. This is a debuff that causes a mirror image of that player to appear about 15 yards away. If the raider does not run to that projection within 6 seconds, it will explode and deal lots of damage to everyone in the raid and give everyone more pride. Nothing you can do about this unless you somehow manage to get hit by it, but tanks should not be getting that much pride. Raiders between 75 and 99 pride get an aura that deals a lot of damage to everyone standing close to them. This means that they need to stand away from everyone because like everything else, if anyone's hit by this aura, then they gain more pride. Finally, if a raider manages, somehow manages, to have 100 pride when the boss casts Swelling Pride, they become permanently mind controlled and get a lot of bonus health. This really shouldn't happen, and if they, it does, they should feel bad about themselves, because it's obviously the healer's fault. Now, there is only one way to remove pride. When the boss reaches 30% health, he will wipe everyone's pride away. Don't count this as a good thing, because he'll just start increasing it faster after that. Now, let's talk about boss mechanics. First and foremost, I'm going to talk about what the boss doesn't do. Wounded pride. This actually is a debuff the boss applies to tanks in normal mode, but not in LFR. I'm just explaining it for people's benefit. Anyone with the Wounded Pride debuff will gain 5 pride every time they're hit by the Shaw, which requires a tank swap. Because this doesn't happen in LFR, it becomes a one tank fight. Now for what the boss actually does do. Aside from the Swelling Pride move we already discussed, the boss will also regularly cast Self Reflection on random raid members. Two seconds after the cast, re uh, after the cast, reflection adds will spawn on those raiders' locations, dealing splash damage and adding pride to anyone hit by the splash damage. These raiders simply need to step to the side for like 5 yards to avoid damage and pride. The adds themselves do basic attacks and nothing more. The off tank can grab these if they like, but they really don't do very much damage either way. Every minute or so, the boss will summon a manifestation of pride in the back of the room. This is a pretty simple ad that casts a nuke at random raiders that can be interrupted. Additionally, when this ad dies, it gives pride to the closest two raiders. Again, the off tank can pretend to be important and go ahead and tank this guy, although they die very quickly, especially if the DPS actually switch to them. Mark of Arrogance is a DOT that the Shaw will put on random raid members that stacks. This is actually dispellable, but it adds, it adds pride to the person who dispels it. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Finally, there is one slightly different mechanic the boss has, Corrupted Prison. This will cause two raiders to get trapped in two of the circles on the platform, of the four circles. Luckily, they always seem to be the same circles. To free these raiders, two players need to stand on the orange locks, one on each of the two orange locks. 
As soon as both locks are pressed together by the two players, the, the player imprisoned will be freed. Nicely enough, the prisons are always the same, and the locks are always the same too. So if the off-tank really wants to be useful, they can stand on one of those locks and slash dance. Way to go, off-tank! What's funny is, actually, when the boss hits 30%, like I said, he will wipe away all of your pride. But he will start casting a, a DOT thing, a raid-wide move. I can't remember the name of it right now, but every 10 seconds he will start casting it, and it will gain pride for everyone. This requires you to race the boss after 30%, so that's when you should be using offensive cooldowns, lust, everything else, everything you got. <sighs> I like how I just spent all this time explaining the mechanics of the fight, when here's the recap for dummy tanks. Stand there, look pretty, and hit the boss. If you want to be useful, you can go stand on the orange locks when people are imprisoned. And if you're the off tank, then go play with adds. At least when there are any. This fight couldn't be much simpler, so go and have fun! I hope you enjoyed this quick and easy guide for dummies. Please like, favorite, share, subscribe, all that jazz, and, as always, you keep it saltsy, internet.